and kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve, and the entire family was getting ready to celebrate. Well, kittens, you don't have to go to bed at 9 p.m. You can stay up until midnight and welcome the New Year. For the first time ever, you can celebrate New Year's like the grown-ups do. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Staying up till midnight, New Year's Eve is out of sight. New Year's comes when the little hand and the big hand are both at the top. Looks like all we need to do is wait for a bit. And five minutes later... How long until New Year's? I'm a little bit bored, guys. We should do something then. Why don't we help Mommy? Mommy, huh? Mom, uh... Mommy! Oh. We'd like to help you out. <laughs> Thanks, my little darlings, but I can manage on my own. All right, let's go help Daddy then. Daddy, need any help? Oh, uh, thanks, my kittens. <laughs> but I have to set up the fireworks display outside. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, and it's not a safe job for kittens. Sorry. Why don't we just watch TV for a while? Then time will probably completely fly. Oh, our favorite pirate show is on. Great! Just then, the clock struck nine. Must be the TV's fault. What? No, it's just that 9 o'clock is the time when we always go to bed. But if I fall asleep, I'll miss the fun. <laughs> hey, guys, we should put buckets of water on our heads like so. Because you can't fall asleep when you're balancing H2O. Yeah, but what if we drop them? <gasps> oh, no. We do not want to be dripping wet when the new year starts, because how you start the new year, well, that's how you'll be the entire year long. Hey, you know what? We should go outside now. It's too cold out there to ever fall asleep. <laughs> How can we start the new year if we're stuck inside an icicle? <laughs> I have a really good idea. Why don't we pass the time by wrapping the things we got for our friends for New Year's presents? That way we're bound to stay awake, guys. Wrapping New Year's presents can be a very fun thing to do, but it can also be really tiring. <sighs> hey, candy, cookie pudding, midnight's almost arrived. Oh, <laughs> just look. It's a pile of precious New Year's presents. <laughs> Let's just let them continue sleeping. Well, it's quite a shame, but that's all right. We can try for New Year's with the kittens next year. Hmm. Oh! It turns out Candy had set their alarm clock so they wouldn't miss the New Year. Morning, everybody. Oh, no! Did we fall asleep and miss New Year's? There's 30 minutes till midnight, so you didn't miss it. I had a great nap. I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> and, and five, and, and four, and, and three, and, and two, and, and one, and, and then, then Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Happy New Year! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cat's friends had managed to stay awake, too. Happy New Year! The kittens exchange their New Year's gifts. Guess what? Daddy set up fireworks outside, you guys. The kitty cat's first grown-up New Year's Eve was fun, fireworks, and a friend-filled success. And none of them felt the least bit sleepy. Magic wand. One day, Cookie and Pudding made a terrible mess in the bedroom. <laughs> oh. Look at this room! You need to pick up my dolls and all this other stuff, too. Candy, you're not the boss of us. We're not going to do it. Tell her, Pudding. Uh, right. Fine, then. I'll just use 
my magic wand here to turn you into frogs. Hey, is that really a magic wand? Ha, yeah, right. Prove that it's a magic wand by using it to clean up this mess. All right. Close your eyes and I'll clean it with the wand. Wand, make this room nice and clean. Cheeky Candy played a trick on the boys to pretend the wand was really magic. The spell is all done. You can look now. Ah, oh, no, no way, way all right. right! We have an honest-to-goodness magic wand! Now we can wish for anything. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey! You don't have a magic wand, but I do, and if you don't come out and push me on the swing, then I'll turn you both into frogs! <gasps> So Cookie and Pudding push Candy on the swing. Well, great. From now on, we're going to have to do whatever she tells us, because if she ever gets really mad... I want a cup of tea. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I don't want to be a frog. I don't either. <laughs> We've got to get the wand away from her somehow. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> hey, give me back my wand or I'll turn you into frogs. <laughs> I'll turn you into something. Turn Candy into a frog right now. Uh, frog, frog. It's not working. Uh, maybe we have to close our eyes, like back in our room. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> We are about to get turned into frogs for sure. We've got to run and tell Mommy. Hey, wait! Come back! <laughs> Cookie? How could our very own sister turn you into a frog? Mommy, Candy turned Cookie into a frog with her wand. Just look. <laughs> look what you've done to our brother. But it can't be. Cookie, I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, so that's where my sailor hat went. I thought I lost it in a bush. Cookie! Cookie! So that's where my second knitting needle went. I was just wondering where I had put it. You mean that's just one of Mommy's knitting needles and not a magic wand at all? Well, yeah. I was just trying to scare you guys because you wouldn't clean up our room like I asked. You weren't asking us, you were ordering us. Wait a second. Listen, Candy, if you want your brothers to do something, my darling, there's a real magic word that you need to be using. That word is please. Is it really magic? Uh, Pudding, hand me that frog, please, dear brother. <laughs> Here, dear sister. Thanks, and Cookie, would you open the door, pretty please? Ha, <laughs> yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Doing something for somebody else feels nice when they use that word. Maybe that word really is magical. Goodness, yes, and more useful than any magic wand. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, could you give me a push, if you please? Of course, Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Cookie and Pudding, could you guys swing my jump rope? Please, please, please? Of, of course, course we, we will. will. <laughs> magic wands only exist in fairy tales, but the kitty cats learn that the magic word please is really magical. <laughs> Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, oh. towel, 
Shower cap, soap, and bath sponge. Hair dryer! <laughs> we have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. Right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates, and forks, spoons, and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. <laughs> Great! What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. But uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh... I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. Kitty kites! One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. I'd love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or play badminton. <laughs> and Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. <laughs> Hey, come back! Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. Sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? 
Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail, small with a long tail, and medium with no tail at all. The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. We'll never fly our perfect awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right then, let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly. <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kite soaring high in the sky. Even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, wow. It's, it's a, a goldfish. goldfish. She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, huh? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, uh -huh. wait! Uh -huh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys, me too. Hurrah! Thank you. 
Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Ah! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> The air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. Aliens! One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad, because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him, too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens, awesome! Oi. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them, 
It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. We're late. Yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please. Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. The harvest! One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! 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 Bye bye, kittens. Bye bye. Play, play. play. Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted: apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers, and all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> Skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we um just uh wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All spring. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kitten made rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. 
The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. <laughs> Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because mm -hmm. of your hard work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're the world's best mm -hmm. brand kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. <sighs> well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back any time and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. One winter's morning, the kitty cats looked out the window at the melting snow. The snow is almost melted and the holidays are coming. Will Santa Claus still come when there's no snow anywhere? Well, I'm sure the Frost Fairy will make more. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairies have a lot to take care of preparing for the holidays. We should invite them to our house then, so they can both get all rested up and then make more snow and presents. Awesome! We're going to invite Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy to come. Oh, that's very sweet, my little darlings. Daddy and I will be very happy to invite them. <clears throat> right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll call them right now. Hmm. Meow. Meow. Santa Claus uh, is oh. not ill. We're sorry everyone is busy making gifts and snow right now. Please call again later. Happy holiday hugs to you and yours. Uh, I got their machine, but it sounds like they're very busy indeed. Come on, tell Santa coming over? Well, uh, uh... Yes, they're coming soon. Both of them, tonight. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If we can't get a hold of them, then we'll just have to become the Frost Fairy and Santa Claus. That's a great idea, my darling. We'll be needing costumes then. Oh! oh. But the store was almost out of costumes. I'm worried this costume might be a little bit small. And that one looks like it's way too big for me. This could be a problem. The kitty cats were very excited to greet Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. Hooray! Ho, 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 ho. Meow there, little kittens. The Frost Fairy is so much bigger in real life. Well, I have to admit that I do love holiday feasts. Oh, just like our daddy does. <laughs> hey, you laugh like our daddy as well. Well, up in the North Pole where we come from, everybody laughs just like that. <laughs> Why don't we have a lovely cup of tea? Now, please be careful, it's hot. Huh? Why did Santa Claus's voice sound just like our mommy's? Oh, that's because Santa Claus really likes cold drinks, not hot. Hot drinks make his voice sound high. <laughs> Let's all do a bring on the snow dance. What do you say, everyone? Snow dance, yeah! And then it will start snowing again! 
It looks like they didn't recognize us, darling. You look really great with this braid. Maybe you should grow one. <laughs> hey, Santa Claus, you're dancing around like you've got a lot of energy there. It looks like you've probably had enough rest now. Does that mean that you'll be able to make it start snowing more outside again? Um, snowing? Oh, whoa! Yeah, get off me, beard. Hmm. Hey, that's really our daddy. Yeah, and that's really our mommy. I knew it was really you guys all the time. What did you dress up as Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy for? Uh, the real Frost Fairy and Santa Claus were too busy to come over this evening. I think you guys are the coolest Santa Claus and best Frost Fairy ever. <laughs> Everybody, look! It's starting to snow! Looks like this is what Santa and the Frost Fairy were so busy with tonight. Making fresh snow for everyone! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kitties, by the way, Santa Mommy and Daddy Frost Fairy might have something in the sack for you to open. Daddy and Mommy Christmas had brought little gifts for the kittens which they all enjoyed whilst the snow fell outside, making a kitty cat winter wonderland. <laughs>